Hi, this is Felix from Movie Tech. Hi, I'm Kenneth. Uh, welcome to Studio 5 at TV Española, where we're just about to make the final adjustments of our new uh, studio control system, the FTP Pro, which we installed in this studio and in the neighboring studio. studio it's a <coughs> very solid system. Uh, it incorporates all of the safety features and it's a full uh, automation uh, control system. Uh, very user friendly as well. Um, we're going to briefly show you uh, what the main features and functionalities of the systems are. Um, so when you switch the system on, you, you get the display with the users. You can have up to four users and a supervisor. Um, the supervisor uh, can intervene in uh, other parts of the controller. The users have a limited uh, access uh, to, the, uh, to the system. So we select uh, a user in this case, and then you enter the password, and you then see the overview of the studio with uh, all of the uh, hoists uh, numbered and, uh, and ready to select. Next to this uh, studio overview with all the devices, in this case it's 128. Um, we have the main functions, or this main menu, uh, with the possibility to switch between remote control and the actual FTP Pro desk panel. Here we can select, we can manually select devices, individual devices of up to 10 devices. So we can select them and unselect them whenever we want. We have the mode group, where we can save, uh, and store and recall groups of up to 10 devices, as well as the scene function, where you can store um, and recall several scenarios, uh, like all the hoists on the top. I can just like click on this scenario. If I touch the, if I move the joystick, I will see that the control unit will indicate which hoists are going to move and I have to press this button, the safety button, the confirmation button and then this hoist will move. Once they are all in their position and I keep on moving the joystick then the next hoist will follow until this scene is finished. Touch screen also has other uh, interesting functions. Uh, for example, uh, you to help visualize, you have a button that increases or reduces the size of the view. You can uh, t cancel the sound or leave it on. Uh, you have, with every movement, you have a recording of um, which systems were used and at what time exactly. If you need, to, you need, you have a logbook basically. Uh, you also have the settings um, menu where you can see uh, which hoist or you can allow certain hoists to be used and others not to be used and uh, you will see also uh, in your main display which are working and allowed to be used and uh, which have maybe a limitation or some problem. Next to this we have some uh, more options um, if I press here, on the option menu, you will see this is going to indicate me in very tiny numbers here, underneath each choice, the vertical position of each choice. I can also select the hoist manually. If I have these two hoists selected, press a little bit longer, then I will see the vertical pos position of each choice. Then I can add some more. Uh, I can also take them out of this selection so I can really see and this obviously is also going to move once I'm operating the joystick. And next to this I have the option of light up the basket. If I press here a small LED on the basket uh, will light up so I will immediately see which hoists are selected if I look up on the studio ceiling.
There are a couple of more functions in the menu uh, which go uh, way far into detail, uh, but in case you're interested, just contact us. We are always happy to help.